Hi, welcome to MEP CAD Services LLC. This is a HVAC Design Drafting Services Demonstration Video Session 1. Let's get started. I want to show you what kind of markups we get from our clients. Uh, in this picture you will see the markups that we receive from our clients. This is for a small office job where we got two VAV boxes and some supply and return grills. Basically this is the type of um, red markups that we expect from clients or even a little lesser than this. So here's again a, a detailed view of what we have received. See this is the VAV box 2 supplying three office areas and the next one showing VAV box number 3 serving another three offices 7, 8 and 9. So let's show how we do our drafting work. So I'm going to start by placing grills for the markups and we have to place grills in office 4, 5 and 6. Um, this is a supply grill. The CFM was given to be as 350. So I'll just key in 350 in our software and we are going to place this grill um, <coughs> quite close to the window in there and we are going to just copy the grill because it's the same CFM for the three offices, office number four, five and six. Now there are some written grills also so we'll place written grills and uh, the term here is RG1 and it, we can change depending on what your office uh, would like to call it. So I'm going to ins insert the RG1 near the doorway as shown in the markups and then just copy the same thing for the three offices 5 and 6. <coughs> now we have to put the supply grills, I mean the supply duct work. So it starts from VAV2. Notice at this point I'm not going to be sizing any of these duct works and after I finish doing my line work I'll ask the program to do all the sizing for me. And um, So we can put the elevation as whatever we want. Right now we are maintaining it at 10 feet and then we are draw <coughs> drawing a ductwork for the last office number 6. Then we are going to insert another ductwork and then another for this area and uh, okay and we are done with doing the supply duct work now we can connect the diffusers to our ductwork and ask the program to size it and watch what happens as I instruct the program for connecting the diffusers to the ductwork. this grill and connecting this ductwork. I'm choosing this grill, connecting this ductwork. Alright, now we are done and I'm going to ask the program to calculate for me. Here I want the program to do my CFM calculation and then size my ducts and do the pressure drop calculation and finally draw the ductworks. So I'm going to use the third option which I have in my software 
and watch what happens in front of your eyes how the double line ductworks get drawn it doesn't matter um, how you draw your ductworks I mean wherever you want it it automatically puts appropriate fittings in place and makes it happen that's the beauty of this uh, program now uh, we've just drawn the supply ductwork and I want to show you the same procedure for the return ductwork um, so let's get started for the return we know that uh, it needs to be going back to the VAV at some point so uh, we have to draw an incoming ductwork for the VAV uh, so this is the supply ductwork and we have to change the direction of this ductwork which is very easy for us to do and um, so what we will do here is draw a return ductwork not connected yet but we can change it um, can start from this point and we can go up to here and uh, now what I've done is I've basically drawn a supply ductwork and watch how easy it's for me to change this ductwork into a return ductwork um, and I'm going to change it to a return ductwork so all we have to do is change the airflow to return and if you say edit branch then all the whole thing will change out see the color changes from blue to somewhat orange color now I got to connect these diffusers I'm going to use the same procedure as I used for my supply um, these are going to be perpendicular connections here and the last one probably is an end connection and uh, engineers need, didn't, need not know, to, de doesn't have to know the uh, drafting techniques as to what is an end and what's perpendicular connection it's a drafter's uh, responsibility at this point um, so we've done our return ductwork and I wanted to size this return ductwork and that's what I'm going to do now by hitting my calculate button and ask the program to do the calculation for me now the client has given me the criteria of how to size my ducts as to how much pressure drop for a hundred uh, feet it's about 0 0.08 inches pressure drop per hundred feet and they have given me the feet per minute velocity on my supply and return ducts and I have already in, in, in input them in my program for supply they've given me hundred thousand one hundred feet per minute on for the reply, return side they have given me nine hundred feet per minute and those I already input as a default value in the program and all I have to do at this point is to just hit the calculate button and watch the program to do its uh, drafting work and um, another important point to notice in here is these ducts are on top of one another so I have to change my elevation of my return ductwork to a higher elevation so it doesn't collide uh, I can very easily change my elevation at this point uh, because um, the supply was a 10 feet and I believe the return was also drawn on 10 feet elevation so I'm going to change the elevation levels of my duct of my return ductwork to maybe 12 feet so I'm gonna just change it to 12 and 12 oh, put in 2 in there change it to 12 and I'm gonna change all of this to 
12 feet so when you go to the uh, paper space view there will be hidden line below this return ductwork which we can show you so here's the plot preview of what we have done so far um, here you can notice that the supply ductwork has a hidden line type when it crosses the return ductwork and this line type gets automatically assigned so we don't have to change any properties for this particular crossing so that is our end result of the red markups that we showed you earlier on and basically if anyone senses a rough sketch of what they want to have then we can produce something like this and go ahead and revise back to their particular preference if they need to because creating this drawing took me about six to seven minutes including the sizing and uh, colored placings so that's how efficient we are in this industry if you have any questions feel free to call us uh, go to our website or go to the end of this video where we have our contact information thanks for watching